Hey guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to discuss three of the most important Java 8 coding interview questions that were asked in TCS, in Capgemini, and in Cognizant. But before going there, I would like to tell you about a platform known as Hired. If you are a job seeker, you know how difficult it is to get the job. But with the Hired platform, it is very easy to get the job. You get a chance to directly communicate with team leaders and HR manager without any middleman. And the beauty is there are 1.5 lakh companies which are already there on Hired and they want to hire you. So to get the job, just click on the link in the description and install the app. After that, you have to create a profile by answering few questions. Once you complete the profile, the algorithm of the app will find the most relevant jobs available for you. And also you don't have to worry about your privacy because Hirek never shares your profile data with any of the recruiters without your permission. So to get the job, just go to the description, install the app and create the profile. So let's get to the actual video. I got your profile for evaluation and I'm going to evaluate you based on your coding skill, especially on Java 8. Okay, so I have a problem statement for you. Uh, you have to create a list of numbers and find the even numbers from that list. Make sure you are going to use Java 8 features to write this code. Can you do it? All right. Uh, so I'm going to create a list of uh, integer. So let me create a list of integer and I want to print all the uh, even numbers out of that list, correct? Okay, so I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to utilize arrays dot uh, as list is this is a feature where you can uh, get the list. So let me pronounce the integer right. So this is integer and I'm going to pass uh, 10, 20, 30, uh, 10, 20, 25, 27, uh, and 30. So this is going to be my uh, list and out of this I want to print 10. 20 and 30 because these are the two numbers, three numbers which are even. So let me uh, get the stream out of numbers. All right, so after uh, getting the stream, I'm going to filter the number. And for this, I'm going to utilize uh, the mod operator. So mod operator gives you the remainder after doing the uh, div division. So let me get the N, N is your specific number. So we are going to filter and we are going to do the operation n mod 2 and if and check if it the remainder is zero if it is the remainder if the remainder is zero then that number is going to be your even number otherwise that number is going to be a uh, odd number so here is your filter after filter i'm going to utilize for each and i'm going to print uh, each element so for that i'm going to use system dot out uh, and i'm going to use print ln all right so uh, this is the logic for uh, your even number so let me run the program run as run on so you get 10 20 and 30 these are the three even numbers from the list okay fine now can you add some duplicate numbers into that list okay so you want to add duplicate numbers into the list i'm going to add yeah. uh, 20 two times and uh, 25 two times and 27 two times so this is my uh, new list after adding duplicates okay again you have to use same java features to find the duplicate numbers from this list okay so i'll remove the you know, previous logic for printing the even numbers and i'm going to write the logic for um, finding the duplicates from the list okay for that, I am going to use uh, something called as set. So set is a feature which allows you uh, to have only unique elements. So set of uh, integer. All right. So let me import set. So this is set of integers. Mm, I'm going to name this as hs and equal to new hasset. So I'm going to create a new hasset, and we are going to take help of this hasset for identifying duplicates. So let me uh, write the logic. So from the numbers, I'm again going to get the uh, stream. And after getting the stream, again, I'm going to filter uh, the list, filter the stream. And while filtering, I'm going to target each element from the list as n. So I'll try to add the element uh, to the hash set 
and if the addition is successful that means it wasn't present in the hash set and if the addition fails that means it was already present in the hash set so when the uh, when adding fails that specifies that this item is duplicate so let me write that uh, logic hs dot add and i'll try to add n okay and whatever gets added to the list uh, for the second time uh, and fails will be duplicate so hs dot add n after adding i am going to print for each and similarly i'm going to use system dot out dot print ln system dot out okay and uh, print print ln all right so this will be my logic using has it for duplicate so let me run this program as you can see 20 is uh, repeated 20 is there 25 is there and 27 is there so these are the three numbers which are uh, repeated 20 25 and 27 no, perfect fine now uh, you have to sort the list in your descending order okay so i'll remove this logic and uh, uh, also remove few duplicates okay so i'll sort this list into um, descending order okay so to sorting the list in uh, descending order i'll use uh, numbers which is our list and i'll get uh, the stream out of this okay and after getting the stream um, i am going to uh, use a, a method known as sorted okay and to sorted i'm going to specifically say that i want to sort the list in descending order for that i have uh, collections so there is something called as collections uh, dot reverse order so reverse order is a method which specifies that i want to reverse the list or print the list in reverse order and again uh, using forage i'm going to uh, print each elements after uh, after sorting the list in reverse order so system dot out and again the method reference and uh, print ln will be my uh, last method so run as as you can see the list is printed in reverse order 30 27 25 20 and then 10. okay perfect that's it from my side is there anything from your side uh, yes, uh, thank you guys for watching this video uh, till the end. If you also believe in directly asking for anything and getting hired, so please consider this direct hiring platform, Hirelet. Here you can directly chat with team leaders and HR managers of over 1.5 lakh companies without any middlemen. So click on the link given in the description because Hirelet hai to direct hai.